When I was a boy, my father told me that he fought in World War I as a soldier. And I regret to say that I didn't believe him. After all, he would only have been 12 years old at the time. But at just 12, my dad, Sidney George Lewis, decided that he did want to join up to fight for his country. Like many young lads, he must have got caught up in the excitement and idea of the adventure. That's what he was like. He always wanted to be where the action was. But you had to be 18, a grown-up, to be in the army. So he ran away from home without telling any of his family. And when he was asked by the recruitment officer, he lied about his age. It seems incredible now that a 12-year-old could end up in the middle of a world war. So there he was, sent to France to fight for his country. He was sent to fight on the Somme. It must have been a shock for this boy from London, suddenly plunged into the middle of the war. I can't imagine the sort of things he must have seen. The fields weren't fields anymore. The war had turned everything to mud and the sky was black with smoke. There was no bird song, no animals. He must have seen a lot of men, a lot of his friends die. To face all that and keep going at such a young age, he must have been a very brave and very tough boy. Back home, his mum, my grandmother, was worried. The newspapers were full of stories of tens of thousands of men dying in France. She found Sidney's birth certificate and sent it straight off to the army and demanded that he be sent home straight away safely, because after all, he was still a kid. But by now, Sidney was right in the middle of fighting in one of the deadliest battles of the Somme at Delville Wood. Fighting was so fierce that all but one of the trees were burnt to black stumps blown to bits by shells and machine gun fire. His mum must have been very worried about him out there risking his life. Would the message to bring him back reach his superiors before it was too late? It would have been a race against time. But it did reach him. Six weeks of fighting in one of the most dangerous battles in the entire war, and Sydney was pulled back from the front line and sent home. That letter which grandmother sent probably saved his life. So my dad, Sidney Lewis, came back. At the age of 12, he joined in one of the deadliest world wars and a year later came back alive. <laughs>